Now let us move to the design problem. So the design problem here is uh, I have given you this section. Okay, I have given you the fan plume section. And I'm asking you to compute the amount of reinforcement such that the fan section develops a moment of resistance of 50 kilometer meter. Okay, so I've given you this uh, uh, moment for which you have to design your reinforcement. Before doing it, I need to confirm whether to go for a single reinforced section or a double reinforced section. So the section sketch, let me draw this first. This is a change section again and uh, depth of flange is uh, 100 mm. This is uh, 800 millimeter and uh, the overall depth 400 mm and width of web is 200. So how to start with? To compute what is the moment of resistance when uh, your neutral axis is at depth of flange. You do that. Mu depth of line. So this you can do. So what will be the formula when your neutral axis is exactly at depth of line? So give a 0.36 average stress into width of flange into depth of flange into d minus 0.42 times depth of line. Here I have assumed my neutral axis is exactly at the depth of line. So what is uh, the moment of uh, resistance at uh, depth of line? So D, you read D. So for computing D, assume, say you are assuming effective cover of 40 mm. Okay, so if I assume my effective cover as 40 mm, uh, my effective depth D is going to be 360. Okay, so your D is going to be 400 minus so how much it is coming? 183.17. So I hope everybody is getting this 183.17 kilo newton meter. Everyone is getting this? Yes, sir. Okay. So it means uh, your neutral axis is going to lie uh, outside flat. So uh, I can write here since applied moment, applied moment is 250 kilonewton meter is greater than mu df, neutral axis lies in the web. So if neutral axis lies in the web, I would like to compute my limiting moment of resistance because I have to take a decision whether my section is going to be a single reinforced or doubly reinforced. So for that, I need to compute MU limb. So how you can compute MU limb? So, you know, I can compute this ratio DF by D. So in one of the class, I had discussed uh, uh, how this 0.2 is actually coming. Okay. So I had discussed this. So I'll compute this ratio DF by D. Now, let us compute this ratio DF by D. Df by effective depth D. So my Df is uh, 100 mm and effective depth D is 360. So how much is going to be this ratio? 0 0.27. 0 0.27. So you can see your Df by sorry, 0.27 uh, D is greater than 0 0.2. Alright. So your Df by D is greater than 0 0.2. So if my df by d is greater than uh, 0.2, I cannot use this one because it is saying df by d does not exceed 0.2. So it means what? I have to go with the other one to compute emulate. So here you see, it's saying when uh, the ratio df by d exceeds 0.2, the moment of resistance of section may be calculated using this equation. Now when you are computing this, okay, uh, what would be YF? So in YF, you substitute 0.15 XU limb because uh, I'm talking about limiting moment of resistance. Okay, so when I'm talking about limiting moment of resistance, my XU will be equal to what? My limiting, uh, it will be equal to limiting neutral axis depth or maximum neutral axis depth. So I can do that. So in this formula, which is coming from IS456, since uh, we have uh, by d is greater than 0 0.2, you are going to apply this formula. 
I mean, I write mu lib. What I'll write? 0 0.36 xu max by d for fu415 steel. It is 0 0.48, right? Into 1 minus uh, 0 0.42 into xu max by d. It is 0 0.48. Uh, into fck is uh, 20. Width of web is 200 and d is 3 square plus 0 0.45 into 20 into width of flange is 800 800 minus 400 into yf into d is 360 minus yf by 2 what is yf since i'm computing limiting neutral axis depth it will be 0 0.15 XU limb or XU max plus 0 0.65 times and what is uh, XU limb it is 0 0.48 into 360. So you substitute everything uh, in MU limb and give me what is limiting moment of resistance. Okay, width of web is not 400, it is 200. Okay, width of web is not 400, it is 200. Here it is. So please make this correct. Width of web is not uh, 400, it is 200. 225.95. Okay, 225.95 kilometer meter. What about others? How much you are getting? Yes, sir, same matter. Okay, good. So, what uh, you can observe here? You have to develop a movement of resistance of 250 kN meter. That is the applied movement in this beam will be 250. And how much is the moment of resistance of the provided section? It is 225.9. So you can write since uh, applied movement is greater than MU limb and uh, you cannot change your section. You cannot increase your depth. Suppose if I would have increased my depth, I could have increased my limiting moment of resistance, but this is also not possible because this dimension is fixed. So what you can do, uh, you will write since MU is greater than MU limb, uh, design a section as doubly so you know how to design a doubly reinforced section, but uh, I will be uh, showing you how you can do it using code. We have already designed a double reinforced section for a tangible section, but I would like to show you how to apply uh, ISO 56, especially an actual G or uh, design. Okay, so here it is section with compression reinforcement G 1.2. When the ultimate moment of resistance of section, okay, so it is saying when a moment of resistance of section, that is the applied moment exceeds the limiting value. Compression reinforcement be obtained from the following. So you see the formula it is given mu minus mu limb equal to FSC ASC D minus D dash. So from here you can compute ASC. So can you compute ASC? So let us compute ASC. So first I'll compute my compression scale. So from here I can get the expression of ASC equal to what? mu minus mu limb divided by FSC into D minus D. And this you have used in one of the video I have used this expression. What about FSC? So for computing FSC, you take this ratio D dash by D. Remember I had uh, used uh, from SP16, this one, table F. So you take this ratio D dash by D. So you write here 40 divided by D, which is 360. And I'm writing assuming cover on compression reinforcement. Not cover, I'll write effective cover on compression reinforcement as 40. So when you are providing your reinforcement, you make sure that you provide effective cover to that. Uh, reinforcement as 40 mm in the compression cell. 
So, forty by three sixty. How much it will be? Point one one. Point one. So, the previous problem we had seen uh, FSC from table F. So, from table F, SP sixteen, which is page thirteen, FSC is approximately nearly equal to three fifty three newton per meter. Okay, so you can see from here. 0.1. So I am considering it for 0.11, 0.1. Sorry, that's 350. So you can compute ASC. So how much is ASC? MUA is uh, 250. The ultimate uh, moment. MUA, uh, which is computed, is 225.95. Convert this uh, unit. This is newton millimeter divided by FSC. FSC is 353 into D. 360 minus B dash is so. How much is compression reinforcement ASC? 212.9. So okay, so ASC is 212.9 millimeter square. Now I need to know tension reinforcement. So for tension reinforcement, you see this expression. AST equal to AST one plus AST two. So let me write this also. AST equal to AST one plus AST two. What is AST one? Now uh, to know about AST one, what it is saying? AST one area of tension reinforcement for a singly reinforced section or XULM. So this is what it is writing. Okay, so it is saying that uh, what is the area of tension reinforcement corresponding to uh, what uh, XULM? So how you are going to compute uh, AST one? So MULM. So MULM, I can write this expression 0.87 FY into AST. Okay, so I can write uh, my MULM when I consider my reinforcement part. Okay, so MULM into 0.87 FY AST into D minus 0.42 xu. So since uh, I'm talking about limb, here it will be xu. Okay. So from here, what you can do, you can compute what is AST. So this is AST. So AST one equal to mu limb. Mu limb was uh, 225.95. Divided by 0.87 into 415 into d d is uh, 360 minus 0.42 into x u limb is 0.48 into d 360. So how much is AST? 2177.3. 2177.3 millimeter square. What about AST two? Let me show the code again. Uh, AST two formula is given ASC into FSC divided by 0.875, and this expression also we have derived. And in one of the video, this expression derivation is also given. So AST two, we can write now. AST two equal to ASC into FSC divided by F5. So ASC we had uh, computed. It was 212.9. FSC is 353, and uh, okay, F Y is 0.87. Okay, the 0.87 divided by 0.87. So how much is AST two? 208.15. 208.15. So this is AST two. So what is total AST? Add this to the two one seven seven point three plus two zero eight point one five. Two three eight five. Two three eight five point four five meters. So you see, you have got uh, AST, and please make sure it is going to be greater than minimum steel. Okay. So you know, uh, yesterday also we had seen whenever you compute tension steel, you make sure that this is greater than AST min. And we know AST main. We have uh, this FE four one five steel, so point two percentage 
a2 width of web a2 effective width of web. so the steel is greater than asd minimum so it is fine for but for asc we don't need to do this check so asc was uh, 212.9 like uh, i know the area of 12 mm diameter it is 113 mm square so if i take 212 diameter it is more than this so i can write so wide 212 dia as compression what about ast it's a, you can see it is 2385.45 so maybe i would like to use 25 dia bar so what will be the number of bars n equal to 2385.45 divided by 5 by 4 into so how many number of bars would like to provide uh, retention side number of bars in tension zone how much it will be five five okay so it will be five so it has to be a whole number so five bars so how you will be placing it let me show this in the sketch We'll place 212 bar here. Since the width is 200 mm, I will be providing in two layers. One, two, three, four. So you see how you can place your reinforcement, longitudinal reinforcement in this uh, flat beam section. 